Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to another silly challenge for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, we have a challenge. Can you take on a bunch of battleships? Not one battleship, not two, but ten with one DD. At what point does this become impossible? I have a 1950s DD from the US, and I get to design this myself. I have to take on ten battleships. Currently, it's Japanese battleships from 1930s, but I'm going to up the year by, let's say, five years interval, if I can complete this challenge. Um, if not, we're going to have to tune it down a little bit. Now, let's set the weather to random and the daytime to random. Uh, and this is going to be a bit of a... How should I put this? Um, potentially an unorthodox DD. It's not going to be a Fletcher. It's not going to be something that looks historically accurate, because I need it to be as deadly as possible. And this game sometimes requires you to take some freedoms with that. Now we have the Advanced Destroyer Large with a, an optimal speed of 37 knots. We also got the Compact for 36. And it basically goes downhill from there. Um, keep in mind, this is a 4,500 ton DD. It, she's really big. And that does mean that she's potentially a little easier to hit. That might be a problem. It is something that I hope to be able to make work, but we'll see how it goes. Oh right, it's this weird tower. This tower has these sort of... Almost... Yeah, like that. See, that doesn't serve me for this particular challenge. I don't need a 2-inch gun. <laughs> if my 2-inch gun is able to open up, something has gone slightly less than according to plan. Um, I need long-range accuracy. 42, 44, 48. Damn. I'm also going to go with a low draft. Because this is going to make me harder to spot. Let's see, where was that stat among all the list detectability? 4,107. If I put this to zero, it's 5,000. So, yeah, we're less detectable. That is good. Uh, that's low draft. So let's say minus 15. If I change the beam... Well, that changes my detectability again, but <laughs> immediately makes it impossible for this main tower to sit here. That's a bit of a problem. Is the other one feasible? Yeah, the other one is feasible. And I'm saving... two points. It's fine. Somehow, however, I'll have to put a lot of work like, a lot of systems onto this one hull. And I think that's going to be a challenge. Now, my first... Um, let's say my first plan is to go with low detectability. So, focus on low detectability. Engage the enemy from afar. Ideally, from such a position that they're unable to return fire. Um, I'm not sure if stealth DDs are still a thing. But I'm willing to try. Now, we've got this massive funnel complex here. Advanced funnel complex that, well, it somehow gives you aiming time even. But it is enormous, and I'm not sure if I like it. It does give me the engine efficiency that I need, which is nice. It's 138. Wait, we got 17 knots per second acceleration? <laughs> How? And now it's 22 knots. So this thing accelerates to full speed in, like, a second and a half? I gotta... I gotta see that before I believe it. Okay, guns. Um, we are gonna go with... You might have guessed it. The fire spam solution. Is it nice? Uh, no. But I do believe it's the only way that the destroyer is <laughs> really capable of dealing with a battleship, let alone 10. So, let's see. Can I put a whole bunch of guns on this destroyer? And then, can I get as much reload out of them as possible? Can I get as much range out of them as possible? And do I potentially want 6 inch? We've got 7.3 second reload. If I go to 5.9, we've got 8.3. That's it? 8.3? The seven. This is second. Okay. Um, HE damage goes from 242 to 294. 
Mm, that's interesting. Because I am going to go with incendiary. We're going to burn these guys down. So we'll need all the burning capabilities that are available. Uh, super heavy shells give me even more chance to set fires. I am well aware that the ship is slightly heavy. But it shouldn't be that hard to fix. Let's go with a single bottom. I mean, the double bottom... Resistance on a DD hull is basically none. Um, yeah, whatever. Single hull. Okay, detectability is about five clicks now. When it comes to my torpedoes, if I can hit something with a 24-inch torpedo, that would be nice. But is it worth it? Because you'll not sink a battleship with one torpedo unless it's like a really sad little battleship. Let's just basically disregard the torpedo launcher and go full gunboat. That's the focus. Full gunboat. Now, is it possible to change this funnel complex and just go with a standard funnel? Because this is a funnel cap 48, this is 42. And this would give me a lot more deck space. Also, it weighs 700 tons, and this weighs 175. And this opens up the way to more guns. So, ideally, with this, I'll be able to put... Yeah, I might be able to do it. Now we're going to rotate this torpedo tube sideways because, like I said, I'm not going to use it. You're going to point that way. You're going to sit there and point that way. Yeah. Like I said, it's not going to be a historically accurate DD. It's a really weird boat. And uh, that's okay. We're just going to try and HE spam as many things to death as possible. And I'll need a lot of shells for that. Right. I think we're just about ready. The Johnston with her 18 5.9 inch guns is capable of laying down 18 shells every 10 seconds. Accuracy should be good, but it's only a 5.9 inch gun. Range, 19 kilometers, more like 15 effectively, I think, 15 to 12. So, uh, yeah, try not to get hit, generally. I don't care for range much. Let's save some there. Can we go 40 knots? Because speed in the life of a DD is also part of your whoa, your survivability. So let's make as much use of that as possible. Uh, I expect to maintain speed, and I expect to be able to rotate the rudder 12 knots acceleration per second. <laughs> yeah. Legit. Uh, we'll go with that. How many shells do I carry per turret? Uh, 1,094. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's... <laughs> That's a lot of ammo. Um, now keep in mind, I'm facing battleships. <clears throat> if I get hit, I'll probably not be around to tell the tale. So, armor... Yeah, it's because I have a little bit of displacement available. Do I really expect it to save me? No. <laughs> Sadly not. Uh, I don't think the ship is going to survive a whole lot of hits. All right, engine efficiency has dropped to a mere 80%, but still we have an acceleration that many ships are going to be very jealous of. So let's see if this uh, alternate version Johnston, almost 4,000 tons of DD, can take on 10 battleships from the Japanese Navy. Let's see. And here she is, the USS Johnston. Now, I have a lot of rounds. A lot of rounds. Half of it is AP, though. Well, not half. Like, a third. Uh, there's a lot of incoming shell fire. Keep in mind, we're within 15 kilometer range, and that is also the range of their 5.3s. I am not a fan. Load the high explosive, please. Show me what I'm facing. Oh, good lord. You had to give it... What? You had to give it 20 guns? And they're all 12 inch, so they fire quickly as well. Oh, I don't like this one bit. This is not what the doctor ordered. Let's see if I can burn it down. <laughs> Accuracy, 33%. That's impressive. So they got 20 guns. That's 212 inch guns that are shooting me right now. That's a little uncomfortable. Wait. Don't grow a brain. 
I will determine who you shoot. Not you. For now, I'm fine with this target, but we're going to stick to this target. We're not going to switch fire every two salvos. Oh, shit. I think I lost half my bow. Yeah. I got nine compartments on fire, and my buoyancy is dropping, and so is my speed. Did you fucking switch fire again? Here. This is your target, right here. Stop changing targets. Oh boy. Buoyancy holding at just shy of 70%, but somehow my speed is not really that impaired. That's really good. And they're either all reloading, or it seems like the Johnston and her smokescreen are keeping her safe. Like, the smokescreen is making their accuracy so bad that they don't even bother. Hold on, did they lose sight of me? I mean, I spotted everybody. They spotted me. No. Destroying a secondary gun. With high explosive? You need to armor up your secondary guns better there, sir. Uh-oh. They're alive. With the sound of 12 inches. Come on, I think we almost have this one. That would take at least some firepower off of the Johnston. And so much for my low detectability. I mean, it is 1930. Radar has been invented. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these guys actually are sporting radar. Okay, let the Johnston do its bidding for a bit. The ship look rather crispy. What is their accuracy like? 0.3? Wow. Minus 30%. Come on. Take it out of the fight. I don't think we're landing enough shells. But I don't really feel that comfortable getting closer. We're even damaging their main guns? <laughs> With a 12 inch. How much armor do you have? And why do you not have more? It's your main armament. I think this first challenge might be a bit rough. I think it might be... A bit too much to chew off for the Johnston. We might have to tune it down to like 1925. For <clears throat> the enemy, that is. The structural integrity for this ship is dropping pretty severely. Accuracy. Oh, about 23. Uh oh. That's another hit. Buoyancy dropping. Structural integrity dropping. I think Johnston's about to die. Yeah, this is not going to work. Okay, we'll have to change the challenge a bit. Let's go to 1925. 1930s, a bit much for this destroyer to deal with. So let's not. Let's go for this fight. So once again, it's going to be the Johnston unchanged. Although, no, hold on. What if I give her really high-end AP shells? That changes absolutely nothing. I was thinking maybe I can go through deck armor. Like 15 kilometer range, you can get 0.4 inches of deck armor pen. That with the best shells. With the worst shells, basically the same. So yeah, don't care. Okay, new round. This time 1925 era battleships. These battleships look like they are sporting secondaries for days. Guns. Lots of guns. 15 13 inch guns, a quadruple 6 inch, and then we have 27 and a half inch guns. If, if I didn't know this ship was Japanese, I think it was American with the amount of guns that it has. Um, 8 3.1s, 10 2.3s, and 16 8 inchers. What the hell? That thing is a floating armory. 
That's pretty much all that it is. If you got that many guns, either you got no armor or no speed or both. And potentially no visibility. Nope, never mind. I've been detected. I have been seen. <laughs> the first hit goes through a casemate. Oh, that's glorious. Come on, get some better accuracy than 1%, dude. I'm intentionally sticking to uh, armor piercing this time around, because I'm going to see if I can just pen those casemates. Or, I don't know, accidentally pen the deck of that ship. But that'd be quite something. Wow. Damage to main gun. <laughs> Again. Yeah, this is not really doing that much. Well, I say that. Keep in mind that some of these guns, they're they're taking losses, they're getting destroyed. And as such, they're also losing crew. And I think their accuracy against the Johnston is so horrid that they simply refuse to fire. Chance to hit, zero. Okay, so in 1925, it looks like a 1950s DD might have a chance. This thing is getting ripped apart by 5-inch semi-armor-piercing shells. Let alone see what HE does. Now we're going to set the fires. Four fires. Another two... Yeah, it's a little bit every time. It's not as much as I was imagining. The real question is, can I get it done? Because at this rate, I might be able to pull it off. But it's going to take a while. And I do find it a bit more interesting if the enemy actually returns fire. This thing is going to be burned pretty quick. Ship changed course. Accuracy once again right up there with 60%. It also vastly matters what sort of AI uh, or what sort of crew the ship gets. You get an experienced crew, you're going to have a far more difficult time trying to burn it down. If you get a green cadet crew or even cadets, your chances of actually turning this thing into a pyre <clears throat> are far better. Okay, let's amend the challenge a bit. Uh, let's go to 1935, but give them only five battleships. So, it's going to be a slightly different one. Let's see how the Johnston takes this thing on. It took the AI positively forever to build this design, so I'm very interested to see exactly what this is. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, I can understand that it took a while for them to figure out how to balance out and, I don't know, how to make that turret clip through the secondary... I don't know, it's not even... Where's your secondary tower? There's your secondary tower. Uh, for this turret to rotate over the deck, these 12 18-inch guns, like a super dreadnought from hell, with the firepower that exceeds Yamato. So, that's cool. Um, don't worry, I have HE. You got big guns that fire every 25 minutes. I have guns that fire every 15 seconds. Let's see who wins. The situation is pretty... Holy shit, that got close. Pretty... Pretty favorable. Uh, for both parties. That's kind of the problem. My dear ship, stop changing targets. I will tell you to shoot this one, and you keep shooting it until I tell you to shoot something else. And it promptly changed targets again. This makes no sense. Anyway. The problem that I foresee here is that we had the battle with the 12-inch guns. Like, 20 12-inch guns. Uh, that hit me once or twice, and I was forced to surrender. Uh, the... Did you change your target again?
Yeah, you did. What is wrong with you? Makes no sense. Um, <clears throat> what you have here is that a ship like this takes a hit from an 18-inch shell, and it looks like to be high explosive, and you have no ship. The whole thing is just gone, disintegrated. I'll take, I don't know, 18,000 points of damage or something ridiculous like that. And I'll be very dead very quick. Now keep in mind that the game has, I'd say, currently some issues with the cost of ships. This destroyer costs 2 billion in 1950. Now, compensating for inflation, that's probably like 12 billion these days. I recently did the math in a video for... Um, I think it was the fastest battleship, where a battleship from 1950s turned out to be like six times the price of a modern aircraft carrier or something ridiculous like that. Uh, this thing is right up there. Do we have any chance against these? I wonder. I'd love to ID them. Smoke up. Smoke somehow doesn't seem to affect my accuracy. Generally, when you're shooting through smoke... Oops. Yeah, see? That's exactly what I was worried about. That hit me once. That caused fire in 10 compartments. 12, actually. Flooded two compartments. Knocked out two... Oh, ho, 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 knocked out two engines. <laughs> and just flat out eliminated the ship. You... Yeah, out of here! What? <laughs> Holy shit! What did you do to my ship? So you hit it twice for basically sixteen thousand points of damage. <laughs> we're trying. No, uh, we're gonna take five versus five. <clears throat> the whole Johnston story is funny, like one against many, but I think it's not viable. So let's try five. Of course, this time, my whole division is going to go up against a different target. But I am far more um, optimistic about my chances. Let's see what the AI has whipped up, because it seems like it's the... <laughs> Nelson, hold my beer. We got 20 15.3 inch guns, and most of them are oriented on the bow. What did you do now? And why is there a turret... Sticking through the main tower. Was the chef's food no good or something? What did you... <laughs> oh, and this is also a marvel of engineering. This is a barbette, right? And this is a turret. I'm not sure if these are supposed to have turret elevators that pass up the ammunition from below decks. I suppose they're... Su well, I imagine they're supposed to. Uh, but this magic somehow hoses it up through this <laughs> this one little beam. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm pretty optimistic about my odds here because not only do I have more ships, but I also have five times the firepower. And they don't suddenly have five times the ability to deal with fires. So in that sense, I am pretty optimistic about my odds of burning down the enemy fleet rather quickly. Can it be done? I don't know. We shall see. Let's smoke up. I need my smoke now to make sure that I survive long enough to reduce their DPS so that when the smoke runs out, I might be able to survive a little longer as they by then have less DPS. We're destroying all sorts of secondary guns. Destroyed this whole secondary tower? Okay. That's uh, pretty impressive. Considering my high explosive has absolutely no pen. So, yeah, there she goes. Either it's like death by just getting hit a whole bunch of times. Or it's completely unarmored. Anyway, this thing is going to be melted down pretty quick. I want to know how expensive this ship is. 
I want to know how expensive this ship is relative to mine. Because I have a fleet that's basically sailing around costing me about 10 billion. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these is going to run for 7 billion each. So in that regard, you could make the argument that a campaign runs strict. Wow, that was fast. Run strictly with destroyers is potentially feasible. Jesus, that thing burned down fast. We've burned down four battleships in less than 10 minutes of in-game time. Everything burns. This is nuts. I need you all to shut up for a minute so that I can see if this thing... Oh. Yeah. What this thing costs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So, um, I have no idea what I was shooting. Price. 3 billion. <clears throat> okay, so it cost me 10 billion to take down 15 billion. And I didn't actually lose any ship. Um... No, moreover, I didn't take a single scrap of damage. They tried, but they failed. So how much more can this destroyer division from hell actually take? 1940, but they're getting 10 battleships. Let's see what sort of crazy design the AI comes up with now. This next round is a night battle. Uh, where destroyers have all been detected... But accuracy for both sides is going to be heavily impacted. It's minus 40%. I think it's going to hit the AI worse than it will hit me. Because I still have the volume of fire. They don't. They are packing some really big guns. That... How do you make this fit? Anyway. Uh, they got 20 inch guns, 8 of them, per ship. But remember, they got 10 of those. So that is 80 20 inch guns pointing at my little destroyer fleet. Commence burnination. Oh, 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 oh. I need to start targeting this guy. Because if you happen to be in the way, any single shell that comes your way will hit you. I've never seen them. Holy moly, that's loud. i never seen them take on a formation quite like this. We're gonna spread the love out between all these ships. I think this is gonna cost them far more than a few billion. This is definitely not a three billion dollar warship. You get... A far, far higher price tag for this thing. Damage done? About 2100. I suspect, yeah, about a quarter of that's fire damage. Okay, let's switch to this target. Let's all use armor piercing. Why not? Let's all use armor piercing. Let's see if semi-armor piercing shells with absolutely no pen can deal damage. Oh, we they lost sight of the Lang? That's over there. Okay, that's interesting. Now, I do want to detach Higgins from this group. Because I want to do an engine test. Supposedly this thing has that miraculous... Where did my acceleration go? Okay, standard. All back emergency. That killed both my engines. You were doing what? How are you doing 54 knots? Did you have some sort of favorable wind or currents or what? Because that's a bit much. Now, supposedly, this thing has good deceleration. Um, I can inform you on reliable authority. It does not. Wait, why? What? These are the same DDs. Why does the Higgins have less acceleration? 0.7 knots per second. Lawrence, 0.38. Lang, 
Lang's also doing 46 knots, I'll have you know. Didn't they fix this bug like four patches ago? Okay, rejoin the division. I want to see what sort of warp speed you're going to be able to get to now. What's the Mississippi doing, the div leader? 40 knots. Okay, so at least you're sticking to the speed limit. Is our armor piercing rain doing anything useful? Yeah, not really. <clears throat> Most of it's just ricocheting off the ship. It doesn't seem to be doing much damage here. It's okay, but... So I think switching to the HE of death is better. I find it a bit, you know, sad that DDs like these are so deadly. Because it's... I think it's the most economic ship that you can build. Not really looking at the price tag too much, because I think it's completely out of whack with one of the latest patches. I think it's 1.4 version that I changed that. But... If you can take down... Like, a super battleship... With a couple of DDs... That are gonna cost you 2 billion. I mean, it's not a cheap ship, sure. But it's cheaper than a super battleship. And the super battleship, like this... It can do nothing but run away. It has no other recourse. Can they push into me? Sure. But I'll run away at 40 knots, or 41. You can't catch me. So, in that sense, they don't really have a good answer. There she goes. That's one. Did it take me longer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but that was kind of expected. <laughs> These are bigger ships. And it's nighttime, so my accuracy is less. I'm very interested in seeing what exactly the price tag on one of these is. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at 8 to 9 billion. Well, it might be a bit high. Maybe more like 6. So there's 60 billion sailing around here. That 10 billion in DDs just turns into scrap metal real quick. And it's not even a contest. Would you send out a ship like this alone? I would. In a campaign, sure. Is it something that you... There's, there we go. Um, that you would really do? Probably not. 3.4 billion. It's not even that expensive. So we were looking at a budget version or something? It's not slow. It's got big guns. Yeah. Oh, and you can probably make my DDs a lot cheaper too. Like, rebuild the ship. Take off three knots. <laughs> That's half the price. <laughs> so you can do this for, I don't know, one billion. Yeah, you can do it for less than a billion. 35 knots is more difficult to play with because you'll be both more, um, more at risk of getting taken over by ships and you don't have the speed advantage. So you don't get the speed, let's say, debuff to their accuracy, but this is... <laughs> like, give me three of these DDs, or one of those super battleship with 20-inch guns. I'll take three of these, thank you very much. And the super battleship builds in, what, 40, like 36 to 40 months? This completes in seven. So in the time that you're building one super battleship in 36 months, I'll take five of these out of the shipyards sequentially. But whereas one super battleship takes up what? Like a... Or let's say not a super battleship. Let's say it's the battleship that I just fought. It might take up mm, 60,000 tons. This is about 4,000 tons. So when it comes to shipbuilding capabilities, I can build 15 of these in parallel and you'll have one super battleship. I'll take 15 of these. <sighs> Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the test here. I think it's been pretty conclusive that these DDs are ridiculously deadly. Can you do this against a 1950s battleship? Yeah, I think so. Is it going to be difficult in a one versus many? Yes. Um, 
if you start getting volume your own, like you get five DDs, yeah, then it's very feasible. So, um, does the Johnston have a chance? Yes, but she needs numbers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more videos.